Andrea said they did. It's a lot looser here. I know we had to press this. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, a lot of expectation for the start of the season. And, um, I think uh, with the new players that we got from the trades, uh, like uh, Simmer and Sean uh, Borachek, and uh, I mean, we've been able to, to uh, help uh, the team a lot. And um, I mean, uh, the, you even the young players, uh, um, Harry and, uh, and uh, Ronaldo are, are playing pretty good. So, and uh, Chris is, uh, is kind of contributing a lot too. So I think it's just a team effort, and everybody's just uh, uh, working together, and we have a lot of fun here. What about you yourself? You're ahead of pace. I mean, what, where's the change been for you? I mean, just having an opportunity to play a lot and playing uh, power play PK and uh, playing with uh, with good players obviously helps a lot too. So um, I think uh, we have a lot of work to do, but um, the chemistry is pretty good for uh, the start of the season with all the new players we have. And um, we're just trying to work. Have you ever had chemistry like you have with Yager? Have you ever had that before? Yeah, in juniors, uh, well, it's not the same thing, obviously. And um, to play with uh, Yags and, uh, and Hartz, yeah, I think uh, we're, we're, we're trying to work on our uh, chemistry and know where the other guys are going to go. And um, it's been, uh, I don't know how many games we've been playing together, maybe uh, six, seven. And I think uh, uh, we're working well together. We're, we're trying to play smart out there and be in good position. And um, anytime we play smart out there, that, that's only our chance. Who's the guy in juniors that you had the chemistry with? Uh, Paul Byron. Uh, he plays. Uh, in the uh, American League right now for uh, Calgary. And, uh, he's kind of a speedy guy, and I was just uh, trying to find him, and he, he, he could score goals. So Obviously, Conger looks at the team's anxious to go. How does he look out there? Do you look like he's close? Yeah, I mean, he's uh, he looks in great shape, and um, he's been uh, the two or three practices with us, and obviously he's moving well. And, uh, I mean, so uh, he's a smart player, so if he's in good shape, he's uh, He'll be fine out there. Can you tell if a player, when he comes off the in, comes back to the injury, has to wear the visor? Can you tell if he's making if he's making sight adjustments at all? Can you can you tell? Is there any difference there? And when a person trying to adjust? I mean, that's a question for him, really. I don't know how he how he feels with the visor. I mean, I but how does he look? Is there any like hesitation like that? He's, he's, he looks normal out there. Oh, he looks fine. Yeah. Is, is there any clue to <clears throat> what, what side, for instance, like you know, he's, he's been real snarly today. Is that a clue that he's He's ready to play. Snarly, what does that mean? Hmm? What, what do you mean by snarly? Um, you, you guys, confrontation. You guys, you guys know my language here. <laughs> <laughs> so, like with us, you know, like. <laughs> I mean, he looks comfortable out there, and I mean, he's been in the league for a while, so uh, it's uh, it's different for uh, uh, a guy like, uh, let's say, Coots, or uh, they've been in the league for uh, for the first year, and he's been in the league for I don't know how many years, so. 18. 18, yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, so, uh, he knows what it takes, and um, for him to get ready for a game, he knows that he he knows what to do. He's got a little routine, and um, he'll be fine with that. How is communication like with the when you guys, you know, either either on the ice or come back to the bench after a shift? In terms of talking, I mean, does, does intelligence there come out and, and experience come out of what he sees? Yeah, like I said before, he thinks uh, the game a different way, and um, I was surprised that uh, he communicates a lot with, with his line mates and his teammates and. He wants to make sure everybody's on the same page, and when we go on the ice, we know what to do. And uh, I think uh, I think it helps the game a lot when when you know what the other players think. And, and uh, right now, it's uh, uh, we're, we're just trying to communicate uh, as, mo uh, as much as we can it's early in the season. So uh, we're trying to make sure we're on the same page. You've done this trip a couple times, this this bonding thing. A couple of guys I've talked to have said that doing that kind of stuff can translate to, you know, playing better together on the ice. Do you feel the same way? Yeah. Anytime you go on a road trip with uh, all the boys for uh, four or five days, obviously it's uh, it's pretty fun and uh, it kind of puts the team together and um, uh, you get to know the guys a little bit more because you're more with them and I kind of go with team dinners and stuff and uh, there's a lot of new players on this team we that uh, we know but we still have a lot of stuff to, uh, uh, to know about and uh, I think it's going to be a, a Pretty big uh, road trip for us. You a beach guy or a golfer, or what, what are you looking forward to doing? Uh, they play a lot of golf this summer, so uh, I like to play golf. Good. Uh, with the amount of games I play, I should be better. <laughs> <laughs> Your lineman doesn't like to play golf. Yeah. Oh uh, no. <laughs> he, he can't get one award or two. He's he gets seasick. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna do then. <laughs> but the um team like Tampa facing them, they're pretty top heavy running forwards. Is that something where it's almost like you have to keep an eye on your own end, even maybe a little bit more than other opponents? Yeah, I mean uh anytime we play Tampa, uh, it's always uh, it's always fun games. 
you have a lot of good uh, offensive players, and um, we try to. Uh, it's always a big test for us, especially against them. They went far in playoffs last year, and um, they, they're kind of a team that uh, every year they're getting better, and uh, they pretty much have the same team as last year too. So uh, it's going to be a pretty good test for us, and uh, we'll try to uh, to get our speed and uh, play the way we've been playing the. In the NHL, in the NHL this year, or this era, there's not a whole lot of 50 goal scorers. Some people have put that tag on you that you're going to be a 50 goal scorer someday. Uh, with Yager on your line, the way this line's clicking, you're off. To, I think you got nine and 14. Is that something that you say to yourself that that's a reachable statistic? I mean, I don't like to think about that kind of stuff. I mean, uh, it's uh, I like to, to think uh, short term pretty much and kind of think of the next game and. Uh, I think when I started thinking of uh, long term and stuff like that, that's when I uh, I uh, get off. Uh, I'm, I'm not as focused for a game, and so I just uh, I don't really try to think about that kind of stuff. Just the best line you've ever played on, though. Uh, yeah, I think uh, obviously they're uh, good players and winning a lot of battles, and uh, we're having a lot of fun too. So the time you play, uh, you play and you have fun, it's uh, uh, you, that, that's when you play your best. Can you talk about the power play a little bit. Um, the talk about. Having the different guys that they have, like Simmons being able to plug in in front of the net, um, Joe Mullen kind of compared him to Mike Anubal a little bit with the way he works in front of the net, and then the guys who have a lot of defense with big shots to points. Yeah, um, like we try to work on it a lot during practices and stuff, and obviously it started. Uh, we started the season pretty well on the power play, and uh, the last few games hasn't been uh, as uh, as better. But, uh, and we, we got we have Prongs coming back. Oh, he's a he's a big key to our power play, and um, we'll just have to. Uh, be able to move the puck quick and uh, just get some shots on that. When uh, Lavi was asked about you yesterday or the day before, what stands out? He talked about your drive and determination and yeah. how it's above most players in the league. Uh, do you feel you've always been that way? <coughs> did, did someone teach you that? That even with talent to to go the extra mile there? Yeah, I think uh, when I was a younger, yeah. I was. Uh, I had skill, but I didn't have to drive, and the uh, um, I didn't work as hard. And when I got went to juniors, uh, uh, my coach there really uh, really pushed me to be uh, the best I could be. And uh, Max had the, the same coach. He can ask him. He, he was able to to push me and kind of uh, make me want to have more in in life, pretty much. And I don't know. I just. Uh, I just want to be the best thing there. Who was your coach, and what was? Is there one incident that you remember him chewing you out for not doing something right? Uh, his name is Ben Rickrew. Uh I mean, he was uh, there's so many uh, so many stories. Uh, one I can think of is uh, Game Seven and after the second period, before we, he wasn't happy the way we were, we were playing, so uh, he made us do 80 push-ups in, uh, in a room before we Game Seven and going through the period. So. Uh, just uh, and then he kind of wake us up and went out there and won the game. So uh, just a little details. Like What'd you do in the third period of that game? Uh, go on assists and we won. I don't know what the score, but it was we had a we had a pretty good third period. We kind of eat the other team up. That was for the juniors championship. No, it was only first round. First round. Yeah. Great. Thank you.